God really humbled me. Uh, I reflected on my life and how well off I really was in that respect. And uh, it, it kind of drew me into what it, why does God called me to do? It, it made me have a really lot of personal reflection of why has God got me here? Why am I fortunate to be in Perth as opposed to why, if I grew up in Zambia, what would my life look like in that respect? So I was kind of humbled and, and drawn down to that. Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can com confidently say, the Lord is he is my helper. I will not fear. And what we, what can man do to me? And so I was reflecting on that particular thing. And I actually put myself into the shoes of the Zambian people and, and kind of started to reflect that well, this is all they know. This is where their life is. And so what God taught me is that you still have a message even in this space. You might come from a completely different culture, completely different um, circumstances, but we can always come back to that Jesus is still going to be their sufficiency. Jesus is still going to provide for them. And, and, and what we need to do is continually teach them about Jesus, which um, really then taught me that I need to be a little bit more conscious of that I'm well off and others aren't. So much so in that in the past, I looked at missions and I says, yep, missions is great. I will support missions. I will give money to missions. I've got some money. That's fine. And I'll put it towards missions. But I then kind of push it out of my mind. I, I kind of then just say, thank you, Jesus. That's someone else's job now. But God's now challenged me and say, actually, it's not someone else's job. We're all in the missions field. And the missions field is actually not just in Zambia. There's a mission field right here in Perth. And so I need to take a little bit more proactivity in making sure that I'm reaching the lost. 